So this is gonna be a quick video on how you can play the Russian version of World of Tanks in English. There's two methods. The quick and dirty one is if you go to file location, each one of these. You can go to res, text, LC messages and just copy all of this to res, text, Russian LC messages and paste this. But there's also like a problem with the files which you have 136 in here but that's not actually true because here you actually got 200 and in the normal version in Russian there's 180 so you will get some bugs but what I wanted to show you is some garbage I made Python script Essentially what I just did is like I asked Chap GPT and did some other research to get this to work. But you can get this from any language to any any other language, but it's a bit janky because Google Translate is not the smartest translating app. But essentially what you can just do is take the Russian messages, what I did last time, copy these, I already have them in here, but you just paste them in an input folder just call it input mo because that's how the script works then you need a program called poedit and you simply need to find its destination because i tried to make this automatic but i have realized i'm not that good so what you do what you can do is just install it somewhere and you need to find where the git bin you need to get these two file locations essentially and you can just see in the script which one you're looking for. So just replace this with your location. That's my microwave. And you can just you run this with uh, without any issues. And if you need these libraries, you can Google or look on YouTube how to get any libraries. You don't need PyCharm, you can just use the normal Python. But this makes it a lot easier. And all you have to do... I'm going to do this with only a few files because I'm definitely getting rate limited after just trying this for far too long. So essentially you can just, let's imagine there's a lot more files in here. Not this, not what, yeah you can see the original messages are completely legible. But if you run them from this, you can see I already run the whole game and this took like 10 minutes. If you run these files, it's actually quite quick because these are quite small. You'll get the finished IMO. And these are still not the best, but you can see down there in English. Now, you can also use the separate versions of this. Just go here. So you can see how you can manual edit. If you just run this, to only convert the files put them into the output and here you can actually see how each file structure is and you can manually edit these to whatever you want save it close it and then just run with a recompile you don't need to de translate and now after everything has been compiled you just get your finished copy get um, the Russian version I like to use the Russian, not the Belgian. Then copy paste these. I'm not gonna replace because I already have them. And now you should have a very jankly translated version of World of Tanks. And now that we're loading, you can see it is everything is in English, but you can see some uh, problems. For example, this is called Warehouse, a Hangar, this is Let's Fight, and there are some other issues, especially with tanks. But for example, this is IS-3 with MZ, but this is just the IS-3A. I don't know how it happens. Option 2, 1.2. This is called a Squire now. And this is just called a prototype because somehow it translated it from Italian to English. I don't know how that happened because this is supposed to be called prototypos, not prototypes. 
And the one thing I couldn't figure out, if you go to tasks, these are still in Russian, but I don't know where the file for these ones is, so you probably can just try to use your phone to translate these with uh, Google Lens. But overall, that's how you get the game in English somewhat poorly. But I'm not bothered to fix this, so uh, if anyone wants to fix it, then go ahead. It's not like I really spend too much time with this script. But yeah, enjoy.